What's going on gamers? El Doinko in the cut. This is Abiotic Factor, a game I've been absolutely obsessed with lately. It's still in early access, so I don't know 100% if I can recommend it right now in its current state. Just know that I've sunk like 70 hours into it and I'm having a great time. Um, for those of you that are familiar with the game, I just wanted to show off some cool base locations. Um, and yeah, some cool base building ideas. So um, this is my main base. I'll go into it um, I'll go over it in more detail later, I think, because it's not... Everybody builds here, I think. I have a two-player save where we built in the cafeteria, which the game, like, really kind of shows you is a really good spot to build. Um, so this is a solo save, and I figured I'd build... Um, I figured I'd build further into the caf uh, into the hub here, so this is where I'm based. But um, this isn't really the, the focus here. I want to show off a couple of locations that might work and show off... Um, and talk about reasons why you might want to build um not in the central hub of the game so we're gonna head to manufacturing here manufacturing is kind of like the first difficulty spike of the game i'd say where where the the enemies become a lot tougher and it becomes kind of unclear as to where you're supposed to go so this isn't a full-sized base but it's kind of like a like a forward operating base if you will so like a smaller base that you'll build outside of your main one just to like have a spawn point with some resources there um, in case, you know, you get killed. And in this area, the enemies are pretty tough. You will die a lot. So I'll just show you what I had in mind. So this is manufacturing. Wait, this is what it's called, right? It's called manufacturing, right? Where am I? Manufacturing West. Sorry, manufacturing West. So there's the blacksmith. And then to the left, we'll have the area where the forklift spawns. So if you come over here... Um, so, oh, I have a car over here. Okay, cool. But the, the forklift spawns here. So, a couple of things uh, about bases that I like is access to water, access to vehicles, and access to the tram. So here we have a vehicle access with the forklift spawning here. Um, there's a security bot that spawns out here, but it won't really bother you. Um, and yeah, we'll just get into the base. So this is not like a full-size base. This is, this is again like a, uh, what I would call a forward operating base. So I've built my crafting table in the central room here, you have these shutters, which I'm not sure how helpful they are, but um, I guess if a guy's shooting at you, these probably block it. Yeah, this seems to block projectiles, so that's cool. Um, there are usually two guys who spawn right here, but with the crafting table here, they do not spawn, so that's nice. I have some loot I've left on the ground here. I didn't realize the military caught like bundles up like that, whereas normally, Normally, like, items show up in a cube. Oh, you don't have to build it either? You could just take it with you? That's so handy? What? That's so useful? Wait, that's actually neat. Okay, cool. I, you learn something new every day. Okay, so, yeah. Crafting table here. Some cable stuff. Uh, repair salvage station. Uh, batteries, of course. C dude, cable management in this game is so fun. Okay. And then beds can go here. So, this, this area, like, this furniture is here when you start. Um... Four beds might be tough to fit in here. I guess you could you could just throw four into here. and It just won't look great, but it'll work. Um, I have some arcade machines in here because I love the arcade machines. And they're so easy to farm. Um, and then, yeah, so for security, I have these shock pads, which are really good. These things require no maintenance. I don't think enemies ever break them, and they charge themselves. Uh, and then this area is the kind of the one spot where enemies might still spawn and come in So I just have some chopinators set up here again a really low level um, Piece of equipment that's really cheap to build. I got a lever on this one So in case I want to turn it off to go over there for any reason um, I'm just I just built that because I built this area for Just like for the sake of this video and I came back and a bunch of my containers got broken So I don't know if enemies got in I don't know if it was during a raid night because I don't know if during a raid night I don't know if all of your your tables get attacked like all your workbenches or just the ones where you're nearby uh, But yeah, so this is a small one But uh, yeah, just an idea of a little kind of a sub base that you can build um, Just because yeah in this area with all the guys with all the guns like, for sure, I've died a ton, and it would be nice to just spawn close by with resources here instead of having to take the whole tram back. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this one. This next base is kind of my second, like, actual base. Um, it has basically all the amenities you would want. So this is in... What is this section called again? Wildlife pens, I guess. Um, we'll walk around. I'll show you this area later. But typically, when you approach this section... Um, 
you get to this area with the big oh shit you get to this area with the big elevator here you come through here um and you'll usually meet the two scientists here that have the kids cola anyway so if you come over this way wow loading so you'll see this big old aquarium area and then you'll see a security bot over there and where I've built my base is right on top here in this little bio lab. Usually there's a bunch of pests and a bunch of soil and a lot more items back here. So a couple of notes. The reason why this spot is really cool and I really like it is because it has basically everything that I'd want in a base. It has access to water. It has access to a vehicle. It's kind of centralized because it's near that... Uh, there's a tra sorry, it has access to the tram and it has access to the big elevator area that connects to all those labs. So... Like, here's the tram area, which I think that when you first unlock this tram, it doesn't work. You have to unlock a further down, a one that's further down before it opens up. Um, and what's cool is that I placed my bench um, just right here in this zone right here. And I knew that it would stop the spawns because there's usually a bunch of pests all throughout here. Pests over here, there's like three or four of them over here. But um, it also stops spawning all the mobs uh, underneath. So typically down here, you'll get like one or two electro pests and then a rat man and none of those guys have spawned since. And even on foggy days, um, a symphonist is supposed to spawn here and I haven't seen that either. So it's a pretty solid spot. Um, the only mob to keep, to keep an eye out for is the security bot. And so I've just built an array of Tesla coils to deal with it. So let's turn that off. Look how many CPUs are on the floor here. So I'll just collect these. He's gonna wake up. I'm gonna turn these on. And they'll make really short work of him. The, uh... These barriers were just found nearby. I built the concrete over there later. But, like, yeah, he can't... Like... I've left these alone for a long time now. He has not dealt any damage to them. Or else you'd see some structural damage. Okay, like, like this. See some structure damage right there. Like that. We'll just fix that. The only thing about the Tesla coils is they will shoot you, so that's what the lever's for, because they will friendly fire you. So if I want to come in here and collect all these, just turn them off. Easy clap, and then just making sure that you turn them back on, and that you just stay behind them, stay where it's safe. Um, so I've also built this kind of bridge area here to lead to the water. Um, so you can use the tainted water. If you have lead belly, you can drink this. Um, otherwise you can use it to fill up your, any, any sort of water thing you need to fill up. Um, I haven't decorated here yet, but you know, you can kind of decorate here. You can kind of see, what is that? Oh, I can't even get on top of it. Even with my jetpack. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so I've put, <laughs> put one little table here. That's kind of it. Some paintings. Um, I wanted to put this here. So, a really cool feature is... Let's see if this works. This has to work, right? Yeah! So now I can come down here, right? So, you have access to this, this car right here. Alright, the security cart. And then, you can also go... I mean, I suppose you could also... Like, it's you're probably going down one way, so you don't need the rope plant. You could probably build a regular rope or just a fall pad there. But yeah, you have a vehicle access that spawns right there. Um, and then, in the base... Um, it's not the most pimped out base so far, but it's functional. I got some carbon crates out here. Crazy. I got a gate security crate. Those are cool. Um, this is some painted, painted storage crates. Um, but yeah, crafting bench over here. I got some chargers, uh, a little, some decoration here, guns, hazard crate. I love these little hazard crates. Um, and then my cooking stuff. So fridge rater. All right, some cooking stuff. I got the pure water purifier. I got no crops here because I haven't actually been living here. I've, I just built it for this video. Uh, I've been slowly building it on and off, and then I kind of I've been I haven't touched it in a long time. So, uh, chef counter, some more decorations here, and then here is kind of our living quarters. So, got a little poster here for the unfortunate spacemen. Um, but yeah, I only have the one bed built. But you have a lot of space here. You could build four beds here, man. You could build a million. But I'm little, got a little heater here. You know, and then lastly, again, this area is you could you could do a lot of decoration here, but I just haven't. A little a little poopy area, a little any 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 poop, no poop. Okay, but yeah, man. So that's um, I've been calling this my lab base. I guess this isn't called labs. I guess this is wildlife pens. 
is what this area is called. Let's see, particle lab, wildlife pens. Yeah, it's kind of closer to the wildlife pens. Um, anything else cool about this place that I need to know about? I don't know. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's just a fucking... It's just a cool-ass place, right? Um... I guess what's cool is that the wildlife pens area here is really good for farming mobs if you need biological pieces because those pieces, they decay over time, so you can't, like, hoard them. Um, so it's nice to have access to this area where you can kill some exors and peccaries and all that. Um, but yeah, cool zone. Uh, we'll go to the next one. This next base is, again, it's not like a super decked out base. I would not recommend it as a location for like your primary base, but it is, again, an example of like a forward operating base. So this is a uh, hydro plant. It's on this current patch, whatever this version is, this is the most late game area and it's it's horribly dangerous like it's we've had so many death runs here when i was playing with my buddy there's snipers everywhere that are super obnoxious like see me walk around my shield i think i think i've set up traps to take care of most of the snipers at this point but um yeah it's a lot of getting shot by snipers who are super far out of reach so um let me just see if i can get up to the base there so, yeah, what I'd recommend is that even though you have little shortcuts like this and stuff like that, you're going to die a lot around here because the security bots are completely insane. And what is that? Oh, it's my traps. Um, their security bots are crazy. The tr There's guys with shotguns everywhere. Freaking, oh god. Uh, there's snipers everywhere that cause you to bleed to death instantaneously. There's just a lot of obnoxious stuff. Yeah, so there's one of the snipers. I've set up a trap that just takes care of them and just farms them, but, like, you don't... Not everybody's gonna have that set up. So, what I would recommend is, because this area is so dangerous and so daunting and you're gonna die a lot, I definitely recommend setting up a small base somewhere in this area. So, what I've done... is... Where is it? Where is my base? Cool, so... Uh, this is a really good spot. So right here, that's there's the the I guess there's the apartments is what it is, and then there are a bunch of these security bots. Oh my god, they're crazy! They I, they're detecting me. Okay, and then down here is a little elevator that goes to the submarine, and this is why I recommend building a sort of like a forward base. So go take this down here. Oh, I left a car down here. How did I get this car down here? But yeah, so you have this area here. Again, a lot of the amenities, right? There's a car up there. Someone has an SUV that spawns up there, though. It's really dangerous to use. You have access to water here. You have an access to a bathroom. Pog. And then when you come into here, there will already be a kitchen and some decent power sources. Um, oh no, my plants! Yeah, I haven't been taking care of this base. I built it again for this video, and I've left it alone for a long time. So... Yeah, the fridge will already be here. You just gotta this this stove. You just need to use the the hose to activate it. Um, um, I love these lights for lighting up like dark areas and bases. Just you get them at a lot of the portal realms have them. Antiverse Two has it. The train I think has it. Um, I don't think Flat Hill has it. You get a little vending machine. You get a little upper deck here. You can build some stuff. Um, I just put my pooper here. Holy shit! I did that much damage. Okay, um, and then up here, Jesus Christ, I got some beds up here, um, and boxes, and then I built the charger over here, because this table is really nice, I want to use it for something. Um, if you're wondering why I have fancy carbon beds, uh, I do have mods on right now to duplicate items, because I, you know, farming up materials takes forever in this game, so like, like that doubles every time I do it, so that's why I have so many materials, I did not f farm this stuff legit, it would take way too long. Um... Oh, okay. Let's try to sleep. Okay, we'll try to sleep through all this. Uh, <laughs> through all the chaos outside. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I think they're fighting the uh, the composer up there, and they just can't kill. He's like unkillable, right? So they just can't kill him. Oh, fucking go away. I don't have my x-ray thing on me right now. Go away! Go away, Liac. Go away. Oh. You went away. Okay. Um, yeah. I think I have one more base to show you guys. So, let's do that. Unless I'm forgetting one. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting one? 
Okay, so there's one more location I want to show off before I go into I'll show you guys this base afterwards But there's one more location I want to show off and that's the security office a lot of people from what I've seen have talked about liking this location um, Why am I hearing soldiers? There's soldiers What the hell holy shit that guy zoom in what the fuck is going on? Hey, hey Where are you going you son of a bitch? Wait, hey, hey What is going on? Are we under attack? Like, what the hell is going on out here? What's going on, coworker? Okay, Layak was here. This, these guys are all here. I guess there were soldiers. Okay. Okay. So up here, there's a couple ways to reach this, but I think the the original way you reach this location is by going back here when you first get your class one. When you first get your class one uh, clearance, you can open this and then leads to the back. And yeah, this is the oh, this is the security office, I guess is what it's called. Is that what this area is called? Let me see. Security. Yeah, it's a security office. So you, you also have another entrance here through the office sector. Um, you know, you come in here. This is like one of the first like kind of dungeon areas you enter. Is this guy still in here? Yeah, what's going on, Gaz? Okay, so you come in through here, and then you can you? see it over here. And I got my dude. I got my dude with this grinder turret, or disc turret, whatever. And then... Yeah, so when you first enter this area, you can't access this. You need the class 1 to get through. Um, it's just freaking Layak Essence everywhere, man. You just clean up after, fucking clean up after yourself, bro. Um... So this area is cool. The only real threat that constantly spawns is this security bot. Um, so I've just built some defenses here to deal with them. I got a laser turret. I built a turret right here, but I think because of the elevation difference, it didn't, um, it couldn't fire at him. So I built it further back here. And then also here I have an x-ray, x-ray tower and a grinder or disc turret. And another freaking laser turret here in case I'm paranoid. Um, a little overkill, but again, I'm, I'm duping resources, so I, I can get a little crazy with it. Um, this office, it, um, it looks cool. A lot of people like building it because it has a lot of cool things. Like, it has these cool shutters, or like, that's kind of sick. It actually, you know, if you're in, in a raid, this might actually help. Um, and with every patch, it feels like the raids are getting crazier. Like, there's, there's the new raid with, like, a bunch of zombies in it, um, and, like, peccaries and stuff. Um, you get this cute little area. Which you can use. Um, I saw somebody suggest putting your irradiated stuff in this room to isolate it if you don't have access to hazard crates yet. Um, let's see. So my only issue with it is that it, there's, it doesn't really have a lot of amenities beyond that. You don't have access to a vehicle. You're pretty far from the trams. Like you're not that far. Like you're to get to to get to the hub. You just have to open this and come over here. I should drink my soup so I run faster. What? That's not soup. Where's my soup? Yeah, so like you go here and then yeah, you'll have access to trams down there. So it's not that bad and you could build a rope here. You could build like a jump pad or something to get create better access. It's not that bad uh, for water. You have the fountain over there. Um, let's run back. Okay, I got some more turrets over here because I keep seeing fucking I get getting raided. Um, I wish I didn't open all these lockers because now they look really obnoxious and to, to keep them closed I have to put items inside So that's annoying, but yeah, you do have a bathroom already, which is nice But you, you do want to build the portable bathroom to collect poop for soil, I suppose um, But yeah, it's a cool ass area though. So you have like yeah, the cool shutters um, Some of this furniture is unmovable like you can't get rid of this thing. Oh man I decorated with a bunch of items and they all despawned that's why, that's why I have the item stands, because I think, yeah, if you just drop an item loose to decorate, like, if I just do this, it will despawn, because I had, I had stuff here, um, last time. A little farm, little kitchen area. Um, but yeah, you also have a coffee machine, which is kind of cool. Um, you have access to a charging station and some vending machines. And then, up top, you have this really sick area with this nice view. You have this nice view here of the little security bot and the manufacturing entrance. Um, you got a little homie? I don't know if this guy ever leaves. I don't oh, think he does. Right <laughs> else is crazy. 
Okay, he's not going anywhere. Anyway, so we got the homie. We got Dr. Stewart. That's our homie. He's babysitting all of our stuff for us. That's why I gave him a little, you know, a little med a medical little briefcase and a little controller. <laughs> a little, uh, this is the SCV, uh, <laughs> CV, uh, um, hot wiring kit. Um, but yeah, so you also have this cool little zip line. So I didn't really decorate here, but you could do some cool shit out here. For sure, especially with this balcony. You could probably do something really sick out here. You could probably put paintings out here. But yeah, this cool little zip line. You could wee and come down right into this fucking garbage can. <laughs> Maybe put an object. Maybe build something here so you don't fall into the garbage can. That might be nice. Can I just jump back up here with a jetpack? <gasps> Okay, cool. And then you also have access to this really sick shooting range area. So this is like, I think this is where you usually find the first, like, pistol in the game. So like, I decorated, put a little, little sniper rifle there, a little shotgun here. Um, but yeah, so this, again, this was like the last one I built. This area was, um, this is not built for utility. This is just built to show off. So I put some of the more high-tech items in here. I, it doesn't have everything. I didn't build like a transmogrifier. I didn't build like a item teleporter. Whatever, but uh, you know, I tried to flex more of my base building skills here. Notifications on the side are about, um, maybe it's because of the mod, but it only really happens in this area when I get like 20 freaking notifications like that. And then yeah, I just have this giant table of just clutter. I'm not really great at decorating. This is kind of how I decorate in games like this and like Fallout. I just throw a bunch of stuff down. God, those notifications are so annoying. Um, but yeah, like this dude's building a PC. Look, he's got a circuit board, he's got a motherboard, and he's got like his RAM and all that stuff, so that's cool. You got a little bucket for poop, and a little Doom Guy helmet. And then, yeah, a little chill section here, some paintings that are really out of place looking. And then the, the, the really cool thing I have over here is this little gun display area. So I wanted to build one here, but I knew it would block the door, so I couldn't do it. So I built it in here, so I'm just displaying all the guns and ammo from the game. So, there's the GAT, there's the revolver, sniper rifle, shotgun, the SMG, the FAMAS, uh, the two scrap hand, uh, scrap handgun, scrap shotgun, the two, the two, uh, crossbows and their bolts, you got the grinder disc shooter, you got the, the x-ray gun, the net gun, uh, energy pistol, the, uh, the atomizer, and then... The electric gun, and then the uh, needler, <laughs> the uh, the quill needler, whatever the heck. And then I got up all the grenades on display over here too. So this is just a fun project to work with. Um, but yeah, so this is like kind of my my flexing base. I do have one more base to show off before we get to my main one, which is mostly just a functional base. Um, oh yeah, these. I don't know if you guys know, you can paint the uh, you can paint these. That's why this is yellow. And then there's a purple one over here. Um. But yeah, let's go to... I'm just going to cut to the next base real quick. Alright, so here we are. This is the last base I'm going to show off before I just talk more about my main base. Um, I wish I knew... Okay, so one thing about this area that I really don't like... I, I brought all these lamps here because I thought I wanted... I thought that it would get dark at night, but it, it stays like this forever. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. Whoa, my watch is bugging out. Do you see this? Why is my watch looking like that? Is it because I'm in here? Anyway... But this is like a cool little chill area. I haven't really developed it at all. I just kind of put down the basics. Um, but like, yeah, man, you could do, dude, this would be such a sick spot to just decorate. Like, I, I don't really, I'm not great at decorating as you've seen, so I haven't really done anything. I just put the materials down. I might come up with something later. But uh, I do have one spot over here. This is my, this is my chill spot. This is my vibe. My vibe spot. You know? I can just sit here. <laughs> they hate how little it takes for us to be happy. <laughs> you know, but yeah, this is a cool ass, this is just a sick ass spot, man. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I don't know, man. The, 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 the possibilities are limitless, you know? The possibilities are limitless. Um, but yeah, I'll just gonna, I'm just gonna TP back to main base and talk about that for a bit, for funsies. Um, so yeah, so the first time I played through this game, we built in the cafeteria because the game really strongly pushes this idea on you that the cafeteria is a good place to build. And it is. It's like the perfect place to build. However, um, I figured like the only thing stopping me from building out here was like the enemy spawns, right? So there's a rat man who spawns over here and there's a security bot that spawns over here. The security bot, 
I guess is kind of the biggest problem, right? But as soon as you get access to traps, it's really not that big of a deal as long as you can maintain them. Once you get the Chopinator, um, you'll just have to repair it every now and then. Um, but he, the ch Chopinator, like one or two of those will take care of him. Tesla Coil makes quick work of him, but is prone to friendly fire. Now I have a the Disc Shooter and the Laser Cannon, which take, makes easy work of him. Look, you can see all these CPUs from all the time is that he's he's died. Wake up, wake up, nerd, wake up. Um, can we shoot him while he's like, like what he's like this? Oh, we can. Easy clap. Okay, but yeah, the cool thing about this is like when you when you don't have access to water purification, um, it's nice to set your set my stove up right next to the the water fountain here, so I could just take a bucket, take a. I could just take the pot, you know, fill it with water, put it right on there, cook it, or, you know, sanitize it, or whatever. Whatever, boil it, whatever, we're just boiling water. Um, so that's kind of nice. The um, plug situation is kind of complicated. Um, there's not a lot, so like I have to take this one and then wire it up to a splitter here. And this is really inefficient, but again, it's just, this is constantly changing and constantly adapting, so like, it's just going all over the place. There's one over here. I think there are other ones over here. Um, all the arcade machines. Here's my little midnight channel Persona 4 reference. It's so loud over here It's just so loud, okay, but yeah, man, uh, I get this 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 is kind of um It's hard to find I was hoping like I, I made this single-player save with the intention of finding bases that I like cool spots to build bases, but there really isn't a lot in terms of like functionally good compared to this one. Like there was there was one or two spots that I found that were like it's mostly just that that cool lab area that I think that was actually like a useful functional area. Otherwise, I'd say like mostly they're gonna be like sub bases where like a forward forward bases. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, I don't know. If there's any other ideas, like if you have any cool spots that you like that you built your bases, please do let me know. I want to check them out. I think if this game had more of a PvP element to it, there's a lot of really cool ba areas to build if you wanted to build like a secret base or a hidden base. But from what I gather, nobody's really playing this. Like this game isn't really meant to be played in PvP. I feel like you're meant to cooperate. Um, though, you know, we can always mess around with mods or, you know, be people, you know, I can get together with some friends and play this game as if it's PvP. Though it would be quite tough honestly um but yeah so abiotic factor cool bases forever <laughs>